Uh, we are aiming for something really cool and special as Capital One card holders, you know, you get this really awesome access to stuff. Like, I don't know, hanging out and seeing running from Panic to the Disco. And Because it was brutal, I wasn't expecting. Yeah, it was I love it. It was my mom. My mom was so sad. Yeah. She's like, oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, she, she just gets nervous and repeats okay, and like, she gets you fun. I love you, mom. It's amazing, dude. So I got SpongeBob in the offer like five years ago. I was in my old place in California. I had just done this track that kind of was mimicking Tom Petty. Don't come around here no more. That kind of thing. It was like a <laughs> And uh, I'm such a nerd. And then uh, there was a point where I got an email from my buddy Scott. He's like, hey, they have this idea. Would you want to write a song for SpongeBob? I said, I love SpongeBob SquarePants, of course. So I literally, they, all they said, they didn't have any, they couldn't give me a synopsis of the story. They couldn't give away too much. They just said, here's a title Just a Simple Sponge. SpongeBob is responsible for the end of the world. Go. Okay. So I just wrote a bunch of his, like, you know, all my favorite things, like Goofy Cooper, and then boom, and then something, <laughs> boom, 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 and like put in all my little favorite references. That was my first thing. Then they sent back like two days later, hey, we really like your song, it's gonna go on the play. So that was the first thing in Broadway. I was like, I'm gonna be on Broadway, that's really crazy. Then I got an offer to go to Kinky Boots just to see the show, and they were phenomenal. They let me just go in and just watch the, the thing and go backstage and meet the people. And, Everybody was so warm and welcoming. I was like, what can I do to be a part of this family, dude? Because this is badass. Like, you guys are so sweet. You guys seem very genuinely happy. Um, can I be a part of this kitty boots? Like, I'll serve drinks. I will sell you merch. I will put you in the seats. I don't care. I want to hang out with you guys. And we're going to finish up our tour. And it's kind of weird to be back here already so quickly, but this place is dope, dude. This is like, <laughs> What's it like being handsome and talented? What's <laughs> 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 We brought out Sydney Lopper on stage. We said girls just want to have fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 So let me take the high notes too. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great. That's awesome. Yeah, because speaking clearly, we're killing it. Because I hated that teacher, uh, Mr. Reed, the pilot <laughs> uh, He was just a dick, dude. He was a total dick. <laughs>
tied up, no more love, and I'd hate to see you waiting. Had to have high hopes for a living, shooting the goddamn door. No, it's much better to face these kinds of things. But it's just a poison Russian ally. I chimed in. How many people ever heard of closing the goddamn door? Brendan, one word. How did that feel, bro? I got cheated. This? All right, okay, so I'm going to show you a magic trick with a hot coffee. All right? Ready for this? Okay, here we go. I'm going to take it. all of my shit. No, 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 here we go. Watch this, okay? Here we go. Okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> 